it's important to try new and hard things. I have on more than one occasion asked myself if I have some sort of sick obsession with putting myself in positions that are stressful. I started this podcast and this book with virtually no experience in either one of those fields. And in both, I have felt at times excruciatingly uncomfortable. I have felt significant imposter syndrome feelings. Uh, with the podcast in particular, I've had some episodes that we recorded that really just felt completely uncomfortable. Recording and sharing my thoughts with the world at times feels super vulnerable. There were some recordings that felt great and other times that felt like total flops and failures. I think as adults, we often feel like we shouldn't do something unless we're good at it. And I think it often holds us back quite a bit. This is not any sort of advice that we'd give our kids. Can you imagine if your eight-year-old child wanted to join the basketball team and you told her she shouldn't because she isn't tall enough, she isn't good enough, she's never played before? Would you suggest that she quit if she felt like she didn't know what she was doing after the first practice or after a few practices if she totally screwed up in one of her games? I mean, of course not. But I think as adults, we often get into this line of thinking. The truth is that I think if you're not failing sometimes, you really aren't challenging yourself. Failure is often the best teacher and it's what challenges us to grow. Growth is almost always uncomfortable. And as a recovering perfectionist, it's been a hard lesson to learn. But I've been able to grow more and more as I've become more willing to look stupid and just be a novice.